Hey friends, in today's video we are going to discuss some amazing and very useful tricks of Microsoft Excel. The first trick that we are going to discuss is that how we can extract text and numbers in separate columns in Microsoft Excel. Here we have a list in which we have text as well as numbers. If we want to extract here text only and here numbers only from this list, how we can do this? For this, as we want to extract text in this column only, we will use equal sign T function, open parenthesis, we will select this value, close parenthesis, enter, then we will drag it down and here we go. You can see here, here we get only the text, we don't get numbers in this column. Then here for numbers only, equal sign N, open parenthesis, we will select value, close parenthesis, enter, then we will drag it down and here we go. You can see we get here numbers only, we don't get text in this column. In next trick, we will discuss that in a list if we have negative values as well as positive values, if we want to sum only the positive values and we want to ignore all the negative values, how we can do this? Or in other case, if we just want to add the negative values and we want to uh, ignore all the positive values, how we can do this? Here we will sum only the positive values. For this, we will use sum if function. We will select the whole range in which we have values, comma. Then here we need to insert criteria as we want to add the positive values only and positive values as you know, positive values are greater than zero. So here we will write criteria, quotation mark greater than zero, quotation mark this is our criteria. Then comma, next thing we will select again the whole range that we want to sum close parenthesis enter and here we go and this sum is only the sum of positive values then next if we want to add only the negative values and we want to ignore positive values again we will use sum if function we will select the whole range in which we have values comma then we need to write here criteria as we want to add only the negative values and as you know negative values are smaller than zero then here we will write criteria quotation mark smaller than zero quotation mark comma next thing we will select the range that we want to sum close parenthesis enter and here we go this value is sum of negative values only and it don't include the positive values the next trick is how we can merge cells quickly. Here you can see here we have some data that is recorded in column C but it goes to column G. How we can merge from column C to column G for all these cells. In simple case we need to select all cells one by one we need to merge then again select this then again need to merge again select this then again need to merge. This is very time consuming. How we can do this quickly? We will select all these cells, we will go to merge and center, we will click on the small arrow and then we will click on merge across and quickly we have merged all these cells. The next trick is how we can highlight the cells with formula. You can see this is our data. If we want to highlight the cells that has formula, how we can do this? For this we need to select our data, we need to use shortcut key control plus G this will open go to window in go to window we need to click on special in go to special window we need to click on formulas we need to select these formulas then we need to go for ok and it will select all cells that has formula then we can highlight these cells in next trick we will discuss that how we can highlight the cell that has current month in it for example today's date is today's date is 21st July 2021 so if we want to highlight the cell that has July in it, how we can do this? For this we need to go to home tab, in home tab, condition formatting, new rule, then use a formula to determine which cells to format and here we will use formula. Equal sign, month function, inside month fun function we will select this first cell that is D3. Equal sign, again month function, inside month function now we will use two day function today function close parenthesis now let's say we want to format as we want to fill let's say in yellow color so we will go for ok again for ok and here we go you can see in any cell if it will find july it will highlight this so friends 
that's all for today if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to press bell icon button thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye